everyone. It's been a little while since I've vlogged. I don't think I've vlogged for the last couple of weeks. Um, just been busy with work and today we are going on our first adventure to the Berry Farmers Market and it's like the most non-spring day because it's rainy, it's overclassed and gloomy, but that's not going to stop us. But we're just going to run into town first and pick up some Starbucks because I didn't have my morning tea yet figured might as well have it on our way in and what is it we're trying to accomplish in our farmer's market what do you want to get we just want to look around see things right just get see stuff. things just see things and get stuff that's about right maybe some pepperettes though yes pepperettes seem to be like your go-to thing at a uh, farmer's market so some kind of baked good Ooh, if they have a strudel lady so up at the cottage there's two different farmer's markets that happen on saturdays yeah it's split it used to be one big one right wait Anyways, on the field one, there's a strudel lady, and she sells out quick. And so Scott and I went with his dad a couple of weeks ago, and I was like so excited. The only reason I was there was to get a strudel, and she wasn't even there. It was very upsetting. So I'm hoping we can find some sort of baked good lady, or gent, human, because that'd be really good. It's the long weekend up here in Canada. Is this the weekend? Is this Memorial weekend in the States? Anyways, it's our long weekend, so usually we'd be up at the cottage, but with this weather, we we're kind of like, let's do a little bit of stuff at home. Maybe we'll go up for a day or so, since it's obviously a much closer drive now. We don't mind doing yeah, like a, a day run. Uh, finally got a lawnmower. It's from Scott's dad, and we went to use it, and the wheel broke. That was really irritating, so Scott's done like three passes in the whole yard, and <laughs> needless to say, that's not enough. All right, sorry. Had to pause while we ordered at Starbucks and the line is taking forever. We never come to the drive through um, Not that we come all that often. But typically we just either order ahead or deacon, but we didn't feel like getting out of the car. So yeah, we're looking for strudels or some sort of baked good, pepperettes for Scott, and then some just general exploration. And then you have a couple of errands to and run. Pardon? Oh yes, vegetables that look good. It's going to be a home day. And at this rate, it's going to be an inside home day because it's just bleh. All right, we are at Home Depot. Yeah. Contemplating whether or not we pick up some form of electric lawnmower. My sister-in-law has one. I think she got it with her new house. Like they got it from the previous owners and they loved it. And so we're kind of like, okay, like we're here. And obviously it's expensive, but it's something that like we're gonna really need for the rest of our lives. So we're trying to figure out which one to get and getting her input. So I think we may have found it. All right. Honey garlic sausage. We got some samosas, which Scott is currently devouring. We got a uh, mead, a peach mead from one. Actually, it was a bee. It was a bee farm, wasn't it? I think it was made, all made from bees. Don't mind the condensation from the samosas. Then Heritage Estate, which is actually on our way to the cottage. So super excited to check them out. And then we've got maple honey pepperettes. Honey garlic pepperettes. We have this cute little white chocolate Oreo cheesecake. And then we got one of the things we actually went for. So we got the access door thing, which is actually the reason we went to Home Depot to turn on the third tap in our basement for our irrigation and stuff outside. But we're home now because we realized that lawnmower is not going to fit in the Jeep when we decided to go for the bigger model. So we had to come home get my car and go back out. But we haven't had breakfast yet, so let's eating the samosa. I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal because I just can't have a samosa. I can't have lunch menus. <laughs> First thing. And he's now rushing me, so I'll check in when we have our lawnmower. Okay, so <laughs> we came back in my car and we're all cocky. It's gonna fit no problem. And it came time to fit the box in the back seat. Can't fit, fit it in my trunk. <laughs> can't fit it in my back seat. So Scott and I, decided to hell with this box and we <laughs> unboxed, it, unboxed it. it got it in the back got our free tool in my trunk without issue because it's obviously such a small box and uh then had to de deconstruct the box and then fold it in amongst itself so that <laughs> we could in fact get it in my back seat so it's a little toit but we believed in ourselves and we got it. All right, we managed. I didn't get any um, real photos of it jammed into the car because Scott got it out of the car real quick when we parked at home. But I'm now in some comfy clothes. 
we now have the lawnmower from my father-in-law into the Jeep so that we can bring it up if we go up north this weekend, which we're thinking we might go up. I don't know if we're gonna go up later today or go up tomorrow for the day, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go up at some point or Scott will just go up if we don't decide to stay and he'll just drop it off. I'm kind of just trying to figure out what we're going to do. So I started painting my um, spring sign, which I know it's almost summer, but things take time. So I started painting that the other day and definitely need to finish it. So I'll work on that at some point. And what else? I'm trying to think what else happened over the last couple of days to catch you guys up on. Um, other than I've worked lots. <laughs> um, I did apply for um, a, what we call an LTO. I don't know what they, what they call them in the States, but um, basically like a long-term occasional position. And technically I'm not qualified for it, but if nobody else applies, then there's allowances made. And there was actually one at my local school, but it was one that I, I know I was told that nobody applied for it, so I would have got it, but it wasn't something that I felt I could do justice for, so I decided that it wasn't gonna work out. But I applied to another one that um, was of interest, so I have no idea how long it's gonna take to find out if I can get it or not, but it doesn't start until early June. And it literally closed up the school year, so that would be pretty cool. It's not at my local school, but it's at my next closest one that I've been going to a lot. But it just felt really good that, you know, things just keep rolling on in. And so, yeah, that's pretty good. Also, um, I don't have it yet, but we bought a sewing machine. My middle sister-in-law, Caitlin, is living out in Port Elgin this summer. She's taken over someone's osteopathy um, practice while she was on mat leave. I think it's mat leave, or just a leave in general. <laughs> and uh, her Canadian Tire had a Singer sewing machine that was originally like $400 on sale for, I think, $130. So she'd bought one, because my mother-in-law is the only one that has a sewing machine, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if my father-in-law has one. But I've not done very much. I literally made pillowcases two Christmases ago for our couch. And I've been wanting to do other ones, but like it's just hard to arrange going down and figuring things out. So I, I hadn't made much of an effort on it. So when Kate said she would be willing to go and double check if there was any left, and again for like I think it was 136, so 150 bucks with tax. So super exciting. But of course, that sale was only at her location in Port Elgin, because otherwise we would have gone with Scott to run our one. But nope, that was regular price everywhere else. So for whatever reason, they were on clearance. I'm okay with it. It actually has some of the features that I was looking for, and I was trying to find something off the marketplace, and all the ones I was finding were at least $225, $250. And I was like, I was almost, I was actually almost ready to buy one. So super excited for that. Um, I think it's gonna be a couple of weeks before I'm able to see it because she's not coming to the cottage for a couple of weekends and I don't think my mother-in-law is driving out to her anytime soon. But I think I showed you guys this in a few, several vlogs back now, but when I was at Michael's a while ago, I bought one of the sewing magazines because it had two patterns. These patterns. So these are like dungarees, you can do a skirt or you can do a pants. And this is two dresses and you can see like long skirt versus short skirt frilled like frilled sleeves versus no sleeve so I literally want like one of each and I'm so excited <laughs> and so that'll be um a summer thing I think all of those could be worn for work uh I've been sussing out you know the dress code at work and the only school that I actually asked at about um because just because it's my closest one I was like what's the dealio and I was told basically whatever um I can wear jeans you can wear sandals and all that stuff so I'm super excited for that and like waiting for the warmer weather so I can do all that. But I think these ones will be really cute for summer. I'm gonna try some different fabric. So yeah, so there's that. Um, we haven't done the garden yet. I'm looking at my seedlings. Some of them look really good. My green beans and yellow beans have kind of got, they got really tall and then started falling over and they've kind of broken a bit. So I'm not sure how well they're gonna do. But again, we couldn't transplant. We had frost warnings three days this week. So they could have died and I went and put them outside. So really it is what it is. And they did shoot up pretty quickly, but I had some that just didn't do anything, which is kind of upsetting. But the weather is supposed to be nicer tomorrow and Monday. It's no longer supposed to rain. Like it rained this morning, but apparently it's 
done doing that now. We're going to kind of figure out where exactly we want these garden beds. We have those four tubs in the backyard that the previous owner left and just have dirt in them. So we're probably going to use some of that dirt to fill in the bottom parts of the bed and then use my good veggie and herb soil on top with the Promex. Um, but anything that doesn't fit in there that we don't need, I think we're going to build up the back corner of our yard because it kind of curves down into the, the fence line. We want to build our wedding arch because we still haven't done that. Because again, we are kind of like, where do we want to put it? What do we want to do? So yeah, just kind of a chill home weekend. It will be really nice because it's been go, go, go this week. I have some propagations that I've been uh, trying to get to cooperate over the last couple of weeks. And I've had success with one. So I transplanted it yesterday. But my dahlias and my peonies are starting to um, break through the soil, which is very exciting. And yeah, so not much else. I really do think I'm gonna work on the gallery wall this weekend, even just to get the frames up, or at the very bare minimum, to put my cutouts on the wall, just to see um, the layout that I wanna do. Cause I still don't know what photos I'm gonna put there. But yeah, just little, just little home things. Because we are planning, we officially have a date for our housewarming for the family. And uh, we had to, oh my God, it's so funny. There's just so many of us, like so many different little family groups that we went into a giant WhatsApp chat <laughs> and it's called like the big fam chat. And we were like, all right, we want you guys over, figure it out, let us know what works. And of course, everyone's quick to be like, oh, not this, not this, not that. We're like, can we find something that actually works? So I think we found something and it's gonna be early July. Originally we were hoping to do one in May, one in June, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna reach out to some friends this weekend and see what their availability availability is come June and see if we maybe we can do the friends one in June or just start having our friends up whenever they can make it just so that, you know, we can have some people over because like I'm ready to like host and do fun things. Oh, <sighs> So I am currently just doing some laundry. I was needing to do laundry all week this week and just did not get to it. So I've got a bunch of clean laundry to put away I have a cup of tea and I think I'm gonna eat my cheesecake. Scott commented on the cute little wrapper. Okay, but how do I get it out without getting my fingers all cheesecakey? Nope. All right, I'm gonna have to break the nice little wrapper. But like, the wrapper did its job because the bag kind of fell over at one point in the car. But it seems, there we go. Oh, that looks good. So I didn't get to film very much at the farmer's market because I was just so excited and I had my hands full of things. But we'll go back on a nicer day in the warmer weather and uh, actually show more. And I think there's gonna be more vendors there on a nicer day. And we hit it off with the um, Heritage Estate Winery and Cidery. And they were like, oh yeah, we've got tastings, we've got tours. So Scott and I are 100% gonna hit that up. We are scrolling through the website later and like looking at all the different ciders and wines and stuff and it looks really good but yes look at this this looks so good i'm so excited but i'm gonna get my cup of tea first and i'll see you guys later good morning so we are currently in the cottage basement which is my father-in-law's workroom and he has got like everything under the sun like you need it he probably has it so we just did the cuts for our island extension the behind couch i don't know if it's a console actually i literally can't remember the difference between like a sideboard a credenza and that kind of stuff but it's a skinny drinks table we're gonna put behind the couch and then we have a little piece that we're just making as like another cutting board not that we need any more cutting boards but alas we have it so we're gonna probably head out soon because that was really our main goal was to do this and for me to see the baby and my nephew is we left him in the jolly jumper before we came down and he's just so stinking cute. So let me see if I can show you. This is our current behind couch one and um, Scott and Robert just brought up the big one and the cutting boards. I'm gonna join them and bring this up and see if we can fit it in the Jeep. I don't think we're gonna be able to, so hopefully my father-in-law can bring it to us this week. All right, so Scott and I have officially done our front yard, definitely there's going to be a technique. We definitely need a strategy for how to approach it because we have lots of obstacles, whether it's the trees or the, the lamp post or our little garden at the front. But we're about to move into the backyard. Scott and I have used our weed whacker, whippersnipper, whatever you want to call it, 
I think there's a fancier name for it, but that's what we, we, we all call it. So we're about to go into the thick of it. Scott's just opening up our gate. So we have like this really deezed metal bar that keeps our gate closed. So we, we need to fix that and tweak it a little bit because you can see the, the gate's kind of caving in a little bit in a weird way. There it is. Scotty, you want to hoist up the bar? There it is. <laughs> you can see the difference. Our backyard is so wobbly in some spots. So the spot that Scott's about to approach is uh, quite lumpy and bumpy. Let's see if we can... Yeah, so like, so that tuft is very much very bumpy. There's our arbor, which I'm not sure if how well you can hear me, but we're going to put it in that corner. And then we're going to use the dirt from these to fill in our garden beds and then top it with some good stuff. And then those dead patches, unfortunately, I think we have caused with the um, water-filled umbrella stands. Hi, little guy. Good afternoon, everybody. So it is the Monday of the long weekend. We did not do a whole lot yesterday. What did we do yesterday? We did the lawn. We did the lawn yesterday, right? I was like, <laughs> well, I didn't film very much. I was like, what else did we do? We so yesterday, lawn, yeah, we caught home from the cottage. Yeah, we did the lawn. So we we ended up getting, I think I mentioned, we got the higher end model of the lawn mower so that we got the deal of the free tool. Now this one has two batteries and had a longer run time even though the acreage of what it covered was way more than what we actually needed, which we knew that. But after doing the front yard, backyard, with the lawnmower and the weed whacker, we only use like half of one battery. So we know that we have no issue with that and we don't need to be incessantly charging it, which is also And you can run awesome. the lawnmower with one battery. Yeah. And you can run the lawnmower with one battery because it's got spots for two, so you just assume that you put both in, but you actually control which battery is used on it. So that's pretty handy. So we have, there was an availability of like what's open today being that it's a long weekend. So we went out and our local Walmart was open. The garden center anyways <clears throat> was open. So we just got some mulch to top up the garden beds that we already have at the house. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we picked up some herbs and a couple of veggies that like we started to grow. But because of the weather and stuff, I'm not sure if what my seedlings will actually survive. So we picked up some that were already kind of thriving. It was like three for 10 at Walmart. And then we got a couple other plants just to uh, fill it out. And a couple of flowers we're gonna do. So it's gonna be a lot of outdoor today and the weather's starting to shape up. Like it's nice and bright. It's not too hot, but it's not too cool. We have some adult beverages that uh, we're gonna give a shot. I will show you guys hopefully a very nice before and after of our backyard. Yesterday we did a ton of the garden, we got so much accomplished, and this morning is the first time our irrigation system went off. So we have kind of tinkered with it when we first plugged it in, but of course it's been on the cooler side so there's no need for us to do it yet and we hadn't done anything to the yard. But this morning 
we got it all set up and we have some irrigation heads, hose heads, whatever you want to call them, pop out of absolutely nowhere. We had no idea where some of these were. And unfortunately, because of that, um, we may or may not have put a garden right beside one or like on top of one. According to Scott, it um, absolutely walloped one of the gardens. So we're gonna have to move that later. But unfortunately, I got up to go to work today and was just not feeling well at all. And I managed to get there. Uh, luckily, the teacher I was in for had a prep first period and that just told me that I was not, I was not well enough to be there. So uh, luckily I was able to come home and I just kind of collapsed on the couch and just like was so tired and so drained and it really came out of nowhere this morning. Like I was basically ready to walk out the door when I just was like hit with not feeling well. So I spent the day on the couch playing a game that I'm now obsessed with on my phone, which is not necessarily a good thing. I read a bit. I just kind of existed, which was nice. I thought that I would wrap up. It's kind of a short vlog. I feel like it's a really short vlog, but I've just not been doing anything too crazy. So yeah, I realized that this is probably a shorter vlog with not a lot on it. Um, I will insert some pictures. I have been working on the gallery wall. I put up one of the designs and I realized that this design, I followed my Canva design to a T, but it's not perfectly symmetrical or balanced. And looking at it, it's like, it looks like it's trying to be. So I literally just took a picture of the side that works, rotated it, and I will change that. But I will insert a picture here of what it's looking like right now. So yeah, I thought I'd wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you are gardening, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any tips and tricks, let me know down below because I am 100% a noob and am just kind of hoping for the best and if it backfires, eh, it's what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in next week's video. See ya.